well, this is kind of interesting. Something happened in Marvel Comics. They have actually decided to try something new with the Avengers. Who would have, who would have guessed this would happen? It feels like we've been stuck with, I say stuck loosely with Jason Aaron's interpretation of the team for years. I know there's a lot of people who weren't fans of that story and what was going on in his book. I came to appreciate it. I think it was doing a lot of like multiversal, over the top stuff that's a little like extreme and crazy. But I will admit, I've kind of just been missing like a straightforward Avengers book where it's not like, what if everything meant everything at every single second of the day? I kind of just wanted something clean and easy and thorough which is what Jed McKay has delivered to us, folks. I've been on the Jed McKay train for a very long time because I'm a huge Moon Knight fan. He reinvigorated that character in the comic books. And it feels like he was the next like guy to kind of pop off after that era where we had all the new writers doing the biggest thing at Marvel. He's getting his chance now. And taking on the Avengers seems like the impossible task that nobody wants to do, because it's like how in continuity are the characters that you want to use, how synergistic do you want it to be for the movies, we'll talk about that a bit here. Is there a way to do this properly? This book, I think, does a lot of things right, especially setting up the story that McKay wants to tell. I don't know if it was, like, exactly what I pictured, but... I can't think of anything I disliked in the book. I can't think of anything that made me go, oh yeah, this sucks. It did everything perfectly. What this book did more than anything was solidify the idea that the Avengers could be portrayed as the Marvel Universe's Justice League, which is not something we've seen that much. They want to separate the characters a lot. But if you look at this team, there are seven characters based on like the seven characters in the Justice League. And they fight these larger-than-life threats as a team with a person spearheading the whole arrangement. And that person is Carol Danvers, which is also very interesting for two reasons. She has a movie coming out, Synergy, I'm fine with that. But Kelly Thompson's, like, 50-issue run on the character is either ended or coming to an end at this point. And they haven't announced a solo Captain Marvel book, which leads me to think a couple things. Well, obviously the sales had to be good because she got to 50 issues, but do they not have an idea of where to take Carol now? Making her the central character in the Avengers comic book is a very smart idea. I am here for it. We open up this book from Carol's perspective. She's talking about like what, why she does what she does, like why the other heroes do what they do, why Tony does his thing, why Thor does his thing, why are they Avengers, why is Carol an Avenger? Because she just likes seeing the majesty of the universe and like protecting Earth means something and has some value to it. So she's in space thinking about it and what she's doing. And uh, she gets a call from Tony. She has to come back down to Earth and that's where they're going. It's time for the Avengers to assemble. And we have CF Villa doing the artwork for this book. I'm not too familiar with their work. I'm digging it. It has that very classic feel, which I like to see. Characters of big flowing hair, stoic poses. It just feels really Avengers. So what is the fight happening on Earth that Carol has to come back to? A big guy named Terminus is attacking like a nuclear base. Uh, this book is kind of split into like two different timelines. It is Carol bringing people to the team and getting her people on the team. And then it's just like the fight with Terminus. So... We'll talk about who she gets on the team first because it's a little more interesting. Of course, there is like a huge vote by all of these superheroes that are adjacent to the Avengers. They all voted for Captain Marvel to take on the reins as new chairperson as the Avengers. A conversation she has with Tony Stark in the Jarvis Lounge, which is very exciting to me because it means Jed McKay also read the Al Ewing Wasp comic book, which is the one thing I would have changed about this comic. Put Janet on the team. I think she could have filled in a slot of maybe, maybe not Wanda, maybe Thor. I don't know, but it's fine. But Carol's the new chairperson and she's excited about it. And the first person she wants on her team, Tony Stark, because they have been enemies before. They fought before. Do you guys remember when they were enemies? Do you guys remember that point? Well, they're good now. Everyone's back together. The world's happy. Tony's her first call. So he's on the team. That's great. They 
don't reference a lot of the Aaron stuff, but they do reference like what Cantwell is doing with Iron Man or what he did with Iron Man, and I guess what Jerry Duggan's doing is kind of being referenced there too. Then her next call is to Thor because she has to Asgard. It's like, hey, do you want to be on the team? He's like, yeah, I was there at the beginning. I'll be there till the end. No reference to the previous stuff with Thor or any of the stuff happening in the Avengers book with Thor before this. It doesn't matter. He's ready to join the team again. He's been through some crap too. None of it matters. He just looks stoic and cool. So he's on the team. He gets some good licks in on Terminus. It's really fun stuff. She then heads to the South Pacific, where she finds T'Challa, who's also been through a bunch of stuff. He's no longer King or the Black Panther. And he's just on a boat, like, how'd you find me? Well, it's kind of easy, because you want it to be found, clearly. So you could join my team, and Carol's just confident, and she's getting everybody. She's getting all her first choices. She's batting 100. It's great. I, I do like it. It's very fun. Like, yeah, I mean... T'Challa could easily hold his own without being an Avenger, but he does work well on this team as the Batman figure, which is kind of cool, and exactly the role he plays, which we'll get to in a minute. Her next choice is a Captain America, and she just comes to the Lower East Side where Steve and Sam are just, like, boxing, and she's like, hey, I need a Captain America for my Avengers team. No offense, Steve. I want Sam. He's like a man of the people, and I think he'd be a good choice. So he's my pick. So Sam's on the team. Great. He has a movie coming out soon as well. So that's great. Exactly what you should do with that character. Awesome. And then she goes to the North Pole where she finds the vision, which is something I have said for a very long time. There are three things that you need to make an actual Avengers team. You need a shrinking person, you need a vision, and you need an Iron Man. And we got a vision. It's kind of awesome. And what is Vision up to? He's like, do you remember when Judgment Day happened? Yeah, that big event that was like, what if a Celestial judged every single person on Earth? Well, the Vision is thinking, nobody in that, like, that whole thing happened and I was not judged. Nobody looked at me. A literal god of existence looked upon me and didn't ponder me as an idea. And I'm like, oh, damn, some really heavy stuff with Vision. That's exactly what I want to see. I like that. And Carol's like, look, I don't care what, what anybody has to say about you, Vision. You do you, okay? Join my team. I don't care. Just shut up about this mopey shit. Get on my team. So he joins the team. Now that's six people. Who's our final member? Well, we see that that Carol heads to the Emporium in Lotkill, New York. And she's going to Wanda Maximoff, which is great. I love, if you haven't been reading that Scarlet Witch book, I've been doing reviews for it. It's easily the best book on Marvel shelves right now. It is so strong. So cool. And she's like, yeah, I'll join your team. The Avengers helped me through a lot of shit. I'll help them through a lot of shit. So now we have the team. Our Justice League apparent. So uh, let's look at the team again and let's give everybody like their calling card. Carol is Superman. I think that's apparent. Thor is probably Aquaman. I'm going to say Iron Man is the Green Lantern stand-in. I'm going to say Black Panther is the Vision stand-in. Yeah, who, Wonder Woman, Scarlet Witch, clearly Vision, Martian Manhunter. Who does that leave? The Flash? I, you know, Sam, I guess, is more... Yeah, we'll say Sam's Green Lantern and Iron Man's the Flash. There you go. That's the team. That's what we're doing here. Good call, Jed. That's exactly what I'd do. But it's the present timeline now, and they're fighting Terminus. So Thor's getting some good licks in. Black Panther is sneaking inside like the base, so... He can save the scientists that are trapped inside, but he also needs like the top engineer to figure out like what is going on so he can stop it. And what's happening is there's like a nuclear thing that this Terminus guy wants to get because he's a creepy guy. And it's a big monster that wants to like blow up a nuclear reactor or just get control of it somehow. Who knows how that's going to go down? Anything's possible, but they're going to use a spell from the Scarlet Witch to kind of like get the reactor out there. If he does try to absorb it, it might like break a barrier and kill everything. So they're going to magic their way out of this. Thor's going to help out. They're going to send it away. Carol's trying to get the reactor out of the sky. And she is like kind of trapped if it about to explode. So she cannot actually like get away from the implosion that's coming from this thing. There's no way to save Carol. And she just started an Avengers team and she's going to die. And there's a big explosion. Everyone's looking on it like what happened to Carol? Who knows what happened to Carol? She's dead, right? No, she's in like a time box because Kang the Conqueror is dying and uh, wanted her. Kang because um, movie, I guess. I don't know. 
makes sense to me. So Carol awakens in like a weird box saved by Kang and he's dying. Like, I, I have a warning for you. Great. Great. I don't know. That That's where I'm like, oh, okay. It had to be Kang. Sure, that's something. But for what this book did, we have a lot of great action, a big brawling epic, which is what Avengers should have. An introduction to the team, which is great. Everyone gets like the moment like, yeah, all of these characters have been through a lot in current continuity. Maybe just like, you know, wipe the slate clean and try again with them is exactly what they needed. And it is. And it's working. And it's a strong first issue. It does feel like movie synergy did play a part in this, but it also feels very naturalistic that they made some of this work. I like the artwork. Carol in particular is completely, is well drawn 100% of the time. She looks great. The action is fluid. It's a fun book. It's really fun. I I do want to see what this team can accomplish because we didn't really have a Vision and Scarlet Witch interaction. We didn't have a Thor and Iron Man interaction. There was some tension being built between Sam Wilson and T'Challa that we don't really touch on. I wonder, what, what was their history that has them beefing a little bit? Like, Sam calls out, like, I know we're beefing, but an adventure's an adventure. What, what was the beef? I don't know. Where's the beef? Is a reference for a campaign that happened a long time ago. And I think that's the perfect place to end the book, on a reference that has nothing to do with the Avengers comic. But I'd buy it. It is honestly more compelling than the stuff Aaron was doing, and it's only one issue. So, The Avengers issue number one, I am going to give a 7 out of 10. Now, thank you all for watching this review. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, you can check me out on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. Good luck.